Salisbury, North Carolina, offers a quintessential small town feel, right down to the soda fountain at Fuller's Market. All right, so we're gonna make a cheer wine float. The first thing you need, some good vanilla ice cream. A real sweet treat with hometown roots. Next step, gotta have the glass bottle. Justin Wells owns Fuller's Market and says this burgundy red soda is synonymous with Salisbury. Cheer wine, you, you can't go anywhere without hearing it or seeing it. Out of town people, they wanna know what is it and what makes it so different and what we have to tell them is try it. At this plant in Charlotte, tens of thousands of bottles and cans are filled with cheer wine each and every day. Uh, that high speed technology we have, we were able to produce over a thousand cans a minute. We were producing over uh, 500 bottles a minute. And so it's really neat to see how cheer wines evolved over the past 100 years. What started as a very manual process to now is this very sophisticated production facility we have. Joy Harper knows a bit about this famous North Carolina brand. Cheerwine is something I've always been passionate about. I've always grown up around the brand. And Cheerwine is in her blood. L.D. Peeler, my great-great-grandfather, started Cheerwine back in 1917 in the basement of his general store. Before Cheerwine, he began distributing a beverage called Mint Cola, and he had the distribution rights in the Salisbury area. Well, World War I hit, and there was a national sugar shortage. So the Mint Cola company actually went out of business. Through his knowledge of how to make mint cola, he began experimenting with different flavors. By using a unique cherry flavor, as well as some other flavors, he developed Cheerwine. And when Louis D. Peeler needed a name for his cherry soda creation. Cheerwine was started during a time when beverages were often named after the alcoholic beverage they resembled. So you may think of root beer or ginger ale. So Cheerwine is a burgundy red color, somewhat resembles a red wine and the cheer comes from its bubbly and cherry taste. Cheer wine is still family owned, and at their Salisbury headquarters, they proudly display a bit of their history. We do have some of the original bottles from 1917, and the way you tell it's an original one, it has a, a cherry etched in the neck of the glass bottle. It's just really neat to see how cheer wine's evolved over the years an evolution a full century in the making. The business was very small, kind of right in Salisbury and surrounding areas, then just expanded out from our core. Cheerwine glass bottles are now available across the U.S. And then our main packages like 12 packs and two liters are primarily available in the southeastern U.S. A national brand with North Carolina roots, roots proudly on display in Salisbury. As you walk through downtown Salisbury, you'll see some of the original murals, our original building that's still standing there today. It is really neat to know that that's part of us and we hope he's, of course, proud of what we've done with the company and uh, what the brand is today. Back at Fuller's Market, owner Justin Wells offers Cheerwine fans more than tasty treats made with Cheerwine. So we have their t-shirts, hats, license plates, can coolers, tailgate chairs, anything with Cheerwine on it, we've, we've probably got it. He says the town's loyalty to the brand runs deep. I think what makes Cheerwine so big is their involvement in the community. Now for me, growing up playing Little League Baseball, after your game, you got a cheer wine and a hot dog. There was no bottled water, there was no Gatorade, there was no Coke or Pepsi. Your options were cheer wine or you didn't have anything to drink. Brands and products come and go with the times, but Joy Harper feels cheer wine success comes from consistency. Taste of cheer wine really has stood the test of time. We've been true to our formula over the past 100 years. Uh, we've also stayed very true to our values of being authentic and independent. Cheerwine is very much a part of a North Carolina culture as well as Southern culture. And we've continued to stay true to our Carolina roots. When you first move to this area, they may say, oh, you have to try Cheerwine. So it's a great way to introduce someone to this area. And it's really cool to be a part of that experience of welcoming people into the Carolinas. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.